All right, guys, back again with another flavor today. Today we're doing triple shot of cheesecakes here. We're going to do Wonder Flavors Strawberry Cheesecake. Inawera Yes Wheat Cheesecake. And one-on-one -on -one Vanilla Custard Cheesecake. Three very highly used flavors. They all have different uses. They all have different levels of, I guess you can say, you know, different levels of cheesiness. I guess you can say, or different levels of cream, uh, and you know, different levels of crust. I mean, they none of them have much crust at all. Yes, we cheesecake. Some people get a coconut note. Fortunately, I'm not one of them. This one has that strawberry note that you will not get rid of in the Wonder Flavor Strawberry Cheesecake, but that's not always a bad thing. This is actually a really good strawberries and cream, I guess you could say. Not so much a I mean, you can use it as a, as a cheesecake, but not as a standalone. I mean, you can always use it if you're look, looking into a strawberry cheesecake, then this is one I'd grab first and put it with some other flavors. Or if you're doing a strawberries and cream and you want a heavy, thick cream, then I'll also go with the strawberry cheesecake and put it with like juicy strawberry from Wonder Flavors or actually strawberry gummy candy is probably one of my favorite strawberries nowadays, especially if you're looking for that really sweet artificial candy strawberry. Yes, we cheesecake. I say a lot of people get a, a coconut note. You get a slight crust it's not necessarily a graham crust more of a cookie crust you could use more of a pie crust and then the vanilla custard cheesecake you get it's a rich it's a very rich flavor you get creaminess but you also get a little bit more sharpness and definitely a strong vanilla note like you would get you would expect in a vanilla custard all right let's go down the elr Let's uh, look at some notes, look at some recipes, and then we'll get out of here. Alrighty, let's go. We got, first one we're going to look at is Inawera's Yes We Cheesecake, which is probably the middle of these three as far as how long they've been out. But uh, some quick notes. Uh, let's see, what's it say? About 3% using it at, okay, it's about right. Uh, yeah, some people saying it's like cheesecake with coconut, uh, very light vanilla cheesecake. It does, and then some people, yeah, let me say people get coconut from it. I don't understand why. Uh, you know, less coconut for cheesecake. Yeah, like 2%, yeah, 2 to 3% is where I like to use this flavor. If it's going to be my main note, my main cheesecake note. Reap off this pretty good. Yeah, it's I'm saying it's it's good, it's not you know see Yeah, you get a little bit let's say you get a little bit of that crust. Some people are saying graham crust. I don't really get a graham I mean I get some sort of bakery in there. Uh here's Alfred Pudding's Cheesecake Trinity. One percent graham crust, two percent New York cheesecake, and three percent yes we cheesecake, which that's if I'm doing something I want a cheesecake that I'm going to build on top of, that's where I've always gone. Well, since that came out the last couple of years. Yeah, I mean, a lot of different notes for it. Obviously, you can find this stuff everywhere. That note with someone else. All right, let's get out of this part. Let's go down. Common With, with common pairings, sweetener, graham crust cheesecake, New York cheesecake. Flavor West yogurt, yes. I could definitely see that if you're trying to get a little bit more of a creamy note. Uh, strawberry for a strawberry cheesecake. You know, biscuit to help boost that uh, crust. Uh, the meringue, a little bit of topping. I could, I could see that. Custard premium, trying to, trying to get a little bit more out of it. Uh, top recipes. Right off the bat, let's see. Let's say it's been around since 20, late 2018. Uh, let's see, Love Jehani Chi. Oh, wow, I didn't even realize I was the second highest rated, rated one using this flavor. All right, let's look at mine. This one, let's say it's a combination of two things it is Addie Tooney's cherry base that he told me about. 
with Alfred Pudding's cheesecake base, and I use the shisha vanilla as a binder between the, basically as a as a bridge and emulsifier between the two flavors. So you got the boysenberry, the cherries, and the forest fruit for the cherry flavor, and then the one, two, three, with the cheesecake with shisha vanilla, say in the middle at one percent. I really enjoy this cheesecake. It's probably, in my opinion, the best one I've ever did. And basically, I stole two different people's recipes and then slapped it together. And see, got some you know, some people like it. This person, you know, subbed out the VTA because they didn't have the flavor, oil, which is fine. So, yeah, people really liked it, which I was happy about. And there's a picture of what well, the time there was a lot of that going on. So that's why I use that. Here's another one later, 2019, Wendy. Moist lemon cheesecake. She did the same three, two, one. And then she threw in some vanilla ice cream from Liquid Barn with some cap juicy lemon. Nice. It works. She's got a lot of, uh, I mean, she's a little bit more of a popular person in general. So I can see why she got uh, you know, a little bit more comments on it. You know, she has a very successful YouTube channel. I think a really good show on Monday nights. Uh, let's see. Cardamom from Dan the Man. Use F.A. Cardamom in there. Cardamom. Why is this Cardamom? I thought it was Cardamom. Okay, well. And a quarter. In a wear. Custard at two. Custard premium at one. Vanilla custard cheesecake at one. Uh, liquid barn ice cream at 0.75. And yes, we cheesecake at one. So it's interesting. Very interesting mix. It's kind of more of a vanilla custard instead of a cheesecake. I uh, got some. Oh, what a lot of people are saying about it. Good looking mix. Now let's move over to vanilla custard cheesecake from 101. I'm going to say medium percentage of this is two. This flavor is one I wanted to bring up also. If you don't have New York cheesecake, and you want to kind of do the Trinity, you could sub the vanilla custard cheesecake in. And it'll be it'll be close enough. Let's just say it'll be close enough. Yeah, notes taste like Loran's cream Loran's cream cheese icing with less steeping. Yes, that is true. Yes, it does have that Loran's cheesecake note, you know, cream cheese note, which works. And where you could actually use the Lorraine's cheesecake with this. I mean, Lorraine's not cheesecake. Lorraine's cream cheese icing. Lorraine's cheesecake is one that steeps forever, and I still I'm not even sure if I like it because it took way too long. Kind of, kind of worked out. Kind of, didn't. I don't know. I've really, I don't even know if I've, I, I might have had the bottle laying around here. I don't even know to be honest with you. But anyway, you know, see, Michelle Hughes reminds me of real cheesecake without the crust. Exactly. There's no crust. It is very much like a cream cheese icing. And let's see, there's a lot of people comparing it to Loran's. Which, yeah, that's basically what you get out of it. You get more of it, you know, you get more of that cheese note, more of that cream cheese. Common, you know, common pairing, sweetener, yes, we cheesecake, graham crust cheesecake, New York cheesecake. Custard premium. If you're gonna, if you want something that's a little bit more tangy, use the New York cheesecake and then back it up with the vanilla custard cheesecake. For sure. And so you got yeah, custard premium, vanilla vanilla pudding, flavor, liquid barn, vanilla ice cream, anywhere biscuit. Add a little bit more. Add some bakery to it. Get some crushed sugar cookie. Does the same thing. And then red touch of your get strawberry cheesecake. Which is very pos you know, very popular. Let's see, no one's let's see, it's been a month since anybody's done anything public with this flavor. And uh let's see, Fresh has the most popular one. There's only 272 public recipes using this flavor. And uh yeah, strawberry cheesecake that he did uh four years ago he uses FA apricot, FA black currant. Uh, graham crust cheesecake at three. Use the see, see this how old this flavor is using saline in there at uh, 0.18 percent. 
basically a couple drops. Uh, Red Touch, Strawberry Ripe, Sweet Cream, Toasted Marshmallow, the Vanilla Custard Cheesecake at 2, and the Vanilla Whipped Cream at 2. It's saying I'm missing the flavor. Oh, I got to see. Well, I wouldn't probably. I'd probably just admit to saline at this point in the game. I think I've a lot of notes. Go back here. Let's see. Yeah, Car Mom has it. Benno, my perfect cheesecake. He uses it here at four and a half. It's basically it's a strawberry rhubarb. It has some coconut in there because he wants the coconut note. So it's going to be a cheesy, fruity strawberry. This is actually freshest cornbread pudding. I think I made, probably made this actually private at this point, but apparently not. But it's used at 1% in the cornbread pudding. Oh, I mean, actually, it's pretty good. Fresh but rich in love with Ian Thomas. He uses it at 1.5 there. You know, with vanillas and marshmallows. And it's actually a really nice looking mix. Never noticed that one before. I may have to mix that. It looks tasty. Need something different. So, I need something. Even though it's summertime, I need something a little bit warm. Uh, let's see. Michelle Hughes did Tears of Crimson's Eaten Mess. Not quite sure what that's supposed to mean. But it's like a ice cream looking thing here. And we'll look at it here. You got mascarpone cream cheese wonder flavors at one. Uh, Melina raspberry 0.75. Red touch with strawberry ripe two and three respectively. Some super sweet milk cut cheesecake at two and whipped cream at two. Nice pictures. Bringing it down, eat mess delicious mix of strawberries, raspberries, mascarpone, meringue, and heavy cream. Strawberries and raspberry in this recipe are self-explanatory. We use the vanilla custard cheesecake and mascarpone to give the vibe of a delicious cream cheese, which yes, it will. Whipped cream is an emulsifier, sweetness there to add the sweetness made of just basically to build up one a little bit. Okay, must be an English recipe. I mean, it's, they eat in messes. Here we go, Brian, TVC, 2017. Here he uses it at 1%, just from fresh from the kitchen. Yellow cake prelim, uh, whipped cream at three, yellow bean gelato, sweetener, pumpkin, there's a, a pumpkin bread cheesecake, basically what this is. Pumpkin bread, pumpkin spice. I think I'm missing, yep, the pumpkin bread and that yellow cake. But that yellow cake can kind of, you can sub that out for any yellow cake. They're all pretty much the same. All right, now we go to strawberry cheesecake, wonder flavors. 2% medium, it's pretty much spot on. Some other people's notes, the strawberry is too earthy, kind of a dirty strawberry. I don't get that, but. Yes, and what Rin's saying here is I agree. Doesn't change much after a steep, uh, lovely cheesecake with great cheese flavor. Strawberry is nice and graham. Crust is not overpowering. Perfect balance. Yes, it's a, it's ex that's exactly what it is. It, you're not going to mask the strawberry. This is, I mean, the cheesecake is probably one of the best cheesecakes out there. If Frank would just release this as a cheesecake and take out the strawberry, there's so many more things that can be used. I when he was asking for for suggestions for the new release. That was the thing I say every single time. Release this cheesecake without the strawberry. I mean, it's great with the strawberry. I'm not saying that. I mean, it's a great cheesecake. But so many things you could do. So many things. Let's see. Yes, it is the best complete strawberry cheesecake you can get your hands on, hands down. Let's see a bunch of other notes. Let's see. Most commonly used with sweetener, yes, we cheesecake, graham crust, vanilla ice cream, juicy strawberry, strawberry gummy candies, shisha strawberry. See, it's you're it's it's strawberry cheesecake. You're gonna add you can add more strawberry to it. Or you can add some more creams to try to lighten the strawberry a little bit, but you don't really need to. And uh, I'll say it's it's great on its own. 
I'm just sick and tired of drinking. I've been vaping so much strawberry lately, personally, that I'm sick and tired of it, sick and tired of it at this moment. I mean, I will definitely come back to it because I always come back to strawberry. But right now, I'm over strawberry. Michelle Hughes, strawberry parfait. Hughes is cereal 27. Cream milky undertone. Strawberry cheesecake. Strawberry red touch. Toasted almond. Flavor West yogurt. And so a picture. Yes, I agree with everything here. It's it doesn't even really need a whole lot of a whole lot of steeping. Three to five days, you're plenty good. Custard and strawberry jam by CB Coils. A lot going on here. You got a 16%. Oh, wow, there's a lot going on here. You got FA apricot, TFA butter. Cake batter, milky undertone, custard premium, egg yolk, pudding base, baked strawberry, strawberry cheesecake, strawberry jam, vanilla custard too, vanilla pudding. Wow, there's a ton of stuff going on there. It's interesting. Let's see. Sasha says, I thought egg yolk was a winter flavor super concentrate. Yes, it is. Oh, I guess maybe he corrected himself on there. Okay. That could happen. Let's see. Oh, well, yeah, Sasha likes it. I can mix it. I just, I'm kind of over it right now. Let's see, Swaggy Tart from last year. Uh, let's see, Tam uses it with VSO Strawberry, VSO Lemon, VSO Kiwi, Shortbread Cookies from Wonder Flavors, and Crumble Topping. So it's a Wonder Flavor VSO mix. Very, very nice. I, yep, I can make it. I said, right now, I'm just over to strawberries personally. But there's so many good things. Red Light District from Slushy. I mixed this one. I did a couple hundred mils of this one. This one is very good. Uh, he uses it there at two and a half. Let's say two to three percent where you're going to be with this flavor. I think you have only 134 public. It's only been out since late 2019. Yeah, late 2019. This this release. I was fortunate enough to get this release. Let's see Tam Strawberry Lush. It's like a strawberry cheesecake bar. Use the flapper pie, one flavor, fresh, fresh strawberries, strawberry cheesecake, buttercream frosting. It's all one flavor, sugar cookie, vanilla custard, which are vanilla custard. You can pair that with this strawberry. Actually, I would do, if you're looking to do a, a more creamier cheesecake and you want and you have a strawberry cheesecake, Use the lemon custard. Use this strawberry cheesecake. And use if you're doing all wonder flavors, use either juicy strawberry if you want something a little bit more authentic. Or if you want more candy, use the strawberry gummy candy. And then add some meringues or some other creams or a little bit more crust, whatever you want to add to it. And it'll get you where you need to be. Let's see. Tommy V's got one. I want to check it out real quick. Well, we haven't checked out any of his lately. Uh, let's see. Bavarian cream. Lemon cheesecake from SSA. Meringue. Strawberry cheesecake at 1.1. Sweet strawberry 1.8. And whipped cream at 1. Yep, that works. 6%. We've got six flavors going on there. That works. That absolutely works. All very good mixes. Indeed. All right, gang. And say this what we got for these three. It's hard to rank them just because there's so many different so many different uses for different strawberries. I mean different cheesecakes. Strawberries as well, but we're not talking about that right now. So I mean there's so many so you really can't rank them. I mean there's are some that are very hard to use and are very good, and you have some that are very easy to use and are very good and then you have a bunch of them in the middle that are really good you can use them all different ways and that's where you get you're, you're not getting a one and one a or two i mean one two three you're not getting that you're getting you know let's say like all, all three of these are all really excellent cheesecakes it's just what you're trying to do with them is which one you're going to reach for and that's basically it all right so hopefully helping clear up uh, some misconceptions on some cheesecakes and everybody's enjoying it.
Yeah, we got one more video for Cheesecake Week, and then we'll be done. And so hopefully, it won't be two months before I do more of them. All right, gang. Until next time, wash your hands. Be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.